welcome. We're gonna do the 1C booking your dream vacation uh, assignment help video right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna necessarily do uh, the entire assignment in front of you. I'm just gonna show you a few tips to help you get the assignment done. So of course we've got our attachment down here or our document there with the link. We wanna open that up. And we're gonna actually wanna save this document Again, under our Intro to Business Computing folder in Hardware and Software. I'm using my Cloud Drive. You can use your flash drive if that's what you want to use. That's totally fine. I'm going to put my initials here at the beginning of it. Booking your dream vacation. Save. Okay, so I'm going to have that document saved. That's not going to be my submission. I'm not going to submit this document, though, as an assignment. What I'm going to submit at the very end of this is a snip again using the snip tool uh, of my actual itinerary that I've created using one of these websites here. You can use any website that you want to use. You want to get as much of your itinerary done as possible, right? So the assignment is going to require you to include airfare, hotels, uh, cars. If you're going to take a cruise, you're going to want a cruise package in there as well. Any, any A full package as much as possible. So what I like to use is, I like to use Priceline. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up Priceline here. And I'm gonna go ahead and look at booking a hotel and a flight. Once I click on that in Priceline, it gives me the option as well down here in the radio button to include a car. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well. So I'm gonna be departing from Boise going to, let's say I'm gonna go to Tokyo, Japan. Gonna be departing, let's say I'm gonna do this during spring break, which is going to be uh, end of March, right? So I'm gonna leave that Saturday, Saturday before spring break, and I'm gonna get back, let's say I'm gonna get back on uh, the next Saturday. Two adults, uh, one room, I'm gonna go ahead and find my deal. This may take a while, right, while, while it's doing this. Okay, so it's gonna go ahead and set me up uh, with my options. And I can look through these and pick out a hotel where I wanna stay. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and do uh, Mitsui Garden. Let's do that one right there. I'm gonna choose that one. And that's the per person price that it has on there. I can view my, which rooms I want. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do non-smoking. may have different room configurations and types as well that I can choose from. Uh, I can choose the different flights depending on how many layovers they have and, and what airline. Uh, I can, I'll can. i just go ahead and choose the first one here. And so that's gonna be my package here. I'm gonna be staying in this hotel using this flight total cost. I can go ahead and Continue. I'm at the I'm at the trip summary now, which is really this is where this is what I want to take my snip of. If you can't fit everything in nicely, something that you might want to do is you might want to hit Control and the minus sign. That's going to shrink everything down so you can see it on your screen, so you can take a nice snip. You can also use your roller on your mouse and hit Control and roll either forward, which will give you, which will be increase the magnification or roll backwards, which is gonna decrease the magnification. Uh, it doesn't It doesn't have a, um, a car in here. Really when I'm going to Tokyo, I don't need a car. I can't necessarily drive a car in Tokyo with the international rules. Uh, lots of public transportation, so I don't need to worry about a car there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and book this. Again, I'm gonna use my snipping tool and I'm gonna snip it. There we go, there's my snipping tool. Now I'm gonna to wanna to save this image. This is an image that I have that I can save. I can save it on my flash drive. I can also save it out on my cloud drive as well if I want to do that. One thing you wanna be careful, if you're working in a lab computer at TVCC, if you save anything to the computer locally, once you log out, log back in, restart the computer, anything like that, even logging in and out, is going to actually erase everything on the lab computer and you're not gonna be able to 
save things locally. So make sure you have your flash drive with you, make sure you have your cloud drive available, available and move it up to the cloud drive before you log out or else you're gonna lose your work. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it in pictures here. This is gonna be uh, DMB and I'm make, gonna make sure this is a JPEG, it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And then I, I wanna submit that image, that JPEG I just uh, saved to uh, Canvas, to the to the file submission, the assignment submission link in Canvas, and then I'll be done. So hopefully this helped you, and we'll talk to you later. Have a good day.